Today I'll be going over a simple effect called chromatic aberration. This is the split color effect at the edges of shapes that simulates a lens problem that occurs in photography when different wavelengths of light fail to focus to the right place on the focal plane. To reproduce this effect, I make sure that my painting has been flattened into a single layer. I then go to the Channels panel and select Red. To be able to preview this effect while moving the individual channel around, be sure to keep the RGB layer visible by toggling the eye next to it on. By shifting the red channel left or right with the Move tool, the color splits. Be sure to mind the edges when shifting the layer, as a noticeable line will develop on one side. To remedy this, I layer the shifted color image over the unaltered painting and erase the mark, letting the original image show through in its place. To keep things from getting too out of focus with this effect, I often use a couple of layers of varying color distortion, building up the shift in less focused areas and erasing out all of the way to the original painting in places that need to be clearer. Chromatic aberration is simple enough to simulate, but you can have a lot of fun experimenting with variations of it. If you have a request for a topic for one of these tutorials, leave a suggestion in the comments below. If you liked this video, you can subscribe to my channel for more, and if you like my channel, consider supporting me on Patreon. Thanks for watching.